Hi guys, Johnny Kaplan here again with another Gadget Flow unboxing segment in partnership with the Corey Group, one of the leading crowdfunding agencies. Today's unboxing segment is sponsored by Wellbots, one of the biggest smart home retailers in the US. Today I'm really excited, we've got a brand new drone to test out, this is one which I haven't seen before or tested, um, and I'm a huge drone fanatic. The Evo that we have here by Autel Robotics is um, the equivalent of the DJI Mavic 2, um, you can film in 4K, uh, you can fly for 30 minutes continuously, you can actually fly 7 kilometers away from where you're standing, um, and it will still respond, it will still send you pictures from the drone itself. So amazing technology these drones have these days um, and we're really going to get stuck in and see what the Evo looks like by Autotel. So I'm just going to break the security seal. Here you see this is the Evo inside before we've taken it out. So I'm guessing that's the controller. This is the power and I believe we have some other cables. It's a great looking device. Um, certainly easy to spot in the sky with its, uh, its orange tangent there. You'll need to fold out the arms of the drone. It comes ready folded away, so it's protected at all times. So it's designed in a certain way that the, the propellers are protected um, when inside the box. So actually you can leave them on uh, while it's packed away. It's a clever design. And it comes with this cover on the gimbal here. So if we just click the sides of this, this cover should come off. There you go, and release our 4K camera there. So here you have it. It looks very similar to uh, other devices in its uh, in the same category. Um, it's around the same sort of weight, uh, the same feel to it, um, and the camera is around the same size, which this can can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. So really, you can get some really quite professional footage on these. Let's get out the controller. Oh, so this is a cool looking uh, controller. I'll show you guys what I can see inside the box there, but let's let's actually get it out. Just unfolding this, so uh, you've got your antennas here, which are important to make sure you're in constant signal with the, uh, with the drone. Um, you then have this area where you can sort of clip out these controls, and this allows you to sort of hold it very comfortably. So the controller itself actually comes with a 3.3 inch OLED screen, um, which you can see here, it's very pleasant, very bright and able to see it's OLED technology. And actually you can see through the camera of the drone itself on the OLED screen on the controller itself. And now plugging in your phone will allow you to use the uh, Evo Explorer app, which comes with a whole wealth of functionality, more so than you get in the display of the controller itself. You get added functionality when using the app. You notice a very uh, high build quality um, in the manufacturing of this. It certainly feels very robust. And, and as you can see, you've got all range of sensors on the device itself. Um, there's sensors here underneath. Um, that will detect objects. There's sensors on the back here that will track if it's in reverse or uh, let's say a bird sort of came up behind it, it will be able to test that. And in the front here, you have these front sensors as well. So you also have the ability to put inside here um, the SD card. So here you put a micro SD. Okay, so you've actually got also got a micro USB port in the back here. These actually have record charging times. I think this is a, a, a huge bonus feature of the uh, of the Evo. Very much like DJI, um, Autel has developed its drones with very similar functionality um, to be able to detect its environment, to be able to uh, respond to any given uh, scenario. Some of the cool things about this drone is you can actively track your location, you can actually point at a location on the map. So you could say, I like this town, you know, five kilometers away from me. You choose library building, for instance, and the drone's gonna fly directly to that library according to the GPS, according to the map. So I think it's about time we tested it out and see how this thing flies. So we're gonna test out this uh, Autel uh, Evo. We're gonna get the controller on and you heard there the beep of the controller going on. Uh, you can see now it's powering up. So I'm gonna step back a bit away, so we're in a safe zone. Evo is ready for action, and it's able to stabilize on its own. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around. I mean, incredible pictures. It's a 
it's the end of the day here, so the, the quality of the, it's a, it's a little bit dark. It's not your optimum time for recording. But look at these wonderful pictures. I mean, if we send it up a bit higher, actually what you have here is you have a map which will show you on a GPS exactly where the drone is at any time. We'll see the drone here and then we can just spin it around. So I'm a huge fan of these. I think this, uh, um, this is very responsive. It wasn't very difficult to, uh, to, to, to get this moving and the software was very intuitive. It's 110 meters away from me right now. It's traveling at, uh, here you say, it's, look, it's traveling at say seven, seven, seven kilometers an hour, 20 kilometers an hour right now. And you can see quite fast it's moving through the sky. We can sort of turn the camera up, down, see around. This is a wonderful experience, very easy to use and very, very good quality device. So I press the go home button and he is coasting home. So here you can see on the map, that's where I am. And I can actually hear him. And here he is, he's back up above us. A very, very steady landing. Obviously that leaves me enough time to, to see what's around, to make sure there are no obstacles in the way. So I actually have to hold down the land button now to make sure it's landing. And there we have it. That flight was incredible. It has very standardized functionality that you'd see on most mainstream uh, drones of this nature, of this price point, these semi-professional drones um, that really many uh, filmmakers and amateur photographers are using to produce high-level productions. Uh, I have to say this might even be easier to use than some of the mainstream drones simply because of the functionality, the way they've designed it, the software, some of the buttons on the controller for taking off, landing, returning to base. The Evo by Autel is a, uh, is a great competitor. It's a great drone. Um, I think it's good for um, anybody of any technical level, whether you're starting out with a drone or you're actually trying to take some more professional and high quality pictures, um, you're able to do that on this device as well. I believe that there are some other functionalities on this that, that we need to test out that I haven't seen before. Um, so we're gonna get off and play with it some more and, uh, and I'll see you guys at the next unboxing video. Thanks again.